Red Hood time, baby. Issue 24, Scott Lobdell and whoever's on the art corner, you can fill uh, it. There was it. two, Dexter Soy and... Let me find the credits page. Brett Booth. It wasn't Brett Booth, no. Uh, Alison Borges, uh, who, who she was on last issue as well, I believe. Okay. I, I was so confused when I started this issue that I had to double check I was on the right issue. I was like... I, I did read 23 last month, right? Because I, I had no idea what was going on. It starts with them as a, a team. You've got you got Jason there, obviously. And you got Artemis. And you got Bizarro in a different outfit, I might add. But he's there. And then you've got Pup Pup, the little Superman doll. Yeah. And then you've got Starfire and Arsenal and the Creeper. And I'm like... Mm-hmm. What the hell's going on here? And there's a there's a catchphrase. It's outlaws onward. Which oh jeez yeah, and, you know it's just this this uh, okay. There's this couple of pages fight scenes. There's, there's this thing going on. It's maybe three pages. Uh, sorry, there's a double page spread in there as well. So if you count that, four pages of the issue is this at the start, and it's just Bizarro watching a movie. He's 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 losing his you know he's he's regressing. He's sat on the couch in his big floating fortress thing, watching this as a movie. I'm like, what the hell is happening? I I don't know. I uh, I, I just. Uh. <laughs> oh, but then we get to the the actual bulk of the issue, which is continuing with you know Jason how his stuff with the penguin from last issue. Penguin's being honoured for something or other. They're like, yeah, he's actually all right. The usual Penguin stuff that you get in Gotham, right? <laughs> Where, oh, yeah, he's a, he's a businessman. He's bringing in jobs. He's, he's legit. How, how do they keep finding ways to honour the Penguin? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. What, 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 are they, uh, what, what's, what is the event itself? Um, he's rebuilt, by the sounds of it, he's put a, a lot of money into rebuilding uh, the monster town. You know, where, where Night of the Monster Men was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, he's rebuilt right. it as a, the ice patch. And it's, you know, all these igloos and it's a theme park, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a grand Stalled. opening. That's where we're at. And any other going, oh, no, well done for doing something with all this horrible real estate that no one wanted and then making it into a profitable business again. Uh, this is starting <laughs> to uh, reek of Lex Luthor's plan to, you know, realign the coast here. Yeah, it is a bit. But anyway, uh, Jason breaks in and he's like, you know, you know, you're gonna you're gonna tell me what I want about Willis Todd. And I'm 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 gonna cut ahead oh, and we, we do cut over to some Artemis stuff here, but I'm gonna just stick with this for a minute. And and Penguin's like, All right, go on then, who the hell's Willis Todd? So Jason takes off his mask, he's like, He's my dad, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and and Penguin literally just starts laughing, he's like you realize you've just given away your secret identity and by proxy Batman's too because I'm pretty sure I've figured it out now and and then Jason shoots him wait hold on just, could just clarify were you, were you embellishing there or was the line of dialogue actually he's my dad uh, bitch no I, I'm, I'm embellishing oh, right, okay. I thought, it, it, I thought... oh man no oh, I, he gives a big monologue but it was a, he, it was a, he was my father you sadistic toad I, I actually thought the line of dialogue was he's my dad bitch and that's why I was laughing no, I wish it was. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm improving the script for you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm being generous like that. Oh. No, he, he was, um, he was my father. You sadistic toad. And then he goes on a monologue, being like, yeah, he was one of your goons, and he, he was a shit dad, but you know, whatever. He was still my dad. And I'm like, oh, okay. And Penguin just starts laughing at him. He's like, yeah, oh, you, you gave away your secret identity and Batman's for this <sighs> shit. And, um, you know, Jason threatens him. He, he puts the gun up to his, you know, point blank against his face. And Penguin's like, ah, go on then. You're just a, a, a bat brat. You're not going to do anything. And you got some internal monologue of, of him, uh, of Jason going, yeah, I promised Bruce I wouldn't kill anyone in Gotham. Yeah, maybe promise was too strong. And then you, you get him, you don't see Penguin dead, but you, you, you hear that, you know, guns up against his forehead. You hear a blam, you see some blood. And uh, cutting ahead a little bit later again, there's some news reports to- talking about Penguin being dead. Uh, oh, no, not dead. He's in critical condition. And this is what I, I was like, hang on. You had a gun point blank against his forehead and he's not dead. 
He stuck skinned. Uh, apparently, cool. we get a little bit of Bruce in the cave of, uh, and this is how we end the issue of, um, you know, Alfred's there going, "Hey, D- Dick and Tim are on the phone, going, what, what do you want us to do?" Uh, you know, because it's, it's obviously he's crossed the line, and, and Bruce is like, "No, tell him to stand down. I'll bring him in." Also, not impressed. Next issue is double size, and it's twenty five dealing with issues. Oh, 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 oh. Are you this book is still around? There's enough Red Hood fans, I think, that it just it, it survives. Well, that's it. it's getting a complete revamp, isn't it? The team's yeah. changing. It's just Jason yeah. that's going on. Get a new, yeah, get a new team and whatnot. Um, in terms of creative team, I mean, obviously, you just said the other team, you know, the actual team. Yeah. Oh, just just you know, side notes and stuff. Artemis is trying to get back into the big floating fortress, and it's it's locked her out. It's got all the self defense measures on mm-hmm. because because Bizarro has regressed. Uh, she finally gets in just by whacking it with an axe enough. And yeah, Bizar- that's my girl. Bizarro's there talking to Pop Pop, um, eating some popcorn, watching the movie. And um, she's like, he's, he's, and then, okay, that's it. he's fully regressed now by the time she gets in there. Yeah. They leave, and the fortress collapses. It blows up and starts falling out of the sky onto Gotham, and it's going to kill apparently tens of thousands of people, according to the the, the Bizarro hologram. I'm, I'm not sure how it's, it's not going to, obviously, but. We'll, we'll see. Hmm. All right, what you written? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I think the only reason they're getting rid of this is I'm flicking through this issue now, and I'm only just noticing, uh, you know, you know how uh, at the end of the, the every issue this week, there's a, you know, you get the interview pages. Yeah. And I'm seeing now there's a, a fortress of, of attitude. Uh huh. Coming to, to to that, and it looks kind of like it's floating. What are you reading, Red no, Hood? <laughs> this issue was horrible. This is a one out of ten. Whoa! This is atrocious. Whoa. If he said dad bitch, though, they'd up to at least a three. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah.